Hello everyone, myself R.C. Birada, working as assistant professor in Walchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. So, in this video, we will see about how to calculate the work done in reversible adiabatic process. At the end of this session, students will be able to determine the work done in reversible adiabatic process. Let us see how to derive the formula for work done. And before that, we will uh, going to prove the law of reversible process that is reversible adiabatic process is PV raised to gamma equal to constant. So now, for infinitesimal process, for infinitesimal process, we know that dq is equal to dw plus du. And we call it as equation number one and for adiabatic process for adiabatic process we know that dq that is heat transfer is zero and if you put this in the first equation we get dw and du is equal to zero and also we know that the work done is equal to P into dV and change in internal energy is equal to MCV into dT and put these two variables in this above equation so we get P into dV plus MCV into dT is equal to 0 here if you replace this dT term we can use uh, I from ideal gas law we know that PV is equal to MRT and on differentiating the above equation so we get P into dV plus V into dP is equal to MR into dT so therefore we get dt as p into dv plus v into dp divided by m into r so put this dt value in the above equation so in the second equation so the second equation becomes p into dv as it is plus m into cv as it is and the dt term is P into dV plus V into dP divided by M into R. So M M get cancelled here, and on simplification again we get CV by R in bracket P into dV plus V into dP. So we need to replace this term CV by R. To replace that, so we know that the Mayer's equation is cp minus cv is equal to r and from this if i take cv common and we get here cp by cv and that ratio we know it as gamma and here 1 equal to r and from this cv by r is equal to 1 divided by gamma minus 1 so put this in the above equation so in continuation with that so I can write the equation as P into dV plus 1 divided by gamma minus 1 in bracket of P into dV plus V into dP. So taking LCM of gamma minus 1 and uh, we get we can simplify that as gamma minus 1 P into dV plus P into dV plus V into dP. So open up this bracket, we get P into dV gamma minus P into dV plus P into dV plus V into dP. So this PdV and this PdV get subtracted and we remain with gamma into PdV plus V into dP equal to 0. And divide by P into V term on both the sides 
we get this above equation as gamma into dv by v plus dp by p and this we write it as equation number 3 and on integrating the equation 3 we get this as integration of 0 is equal to this as constant term integration of dv by v plus integration of dp by p and on integration we get this as a constant of integration called log c to the base e is equal to gamma remains constant and the integration of this is log v to the base e plus for this term log p to the base e so from the logarithmic rule i can uh, multiply this p and v I can simplify this equation as p into v raised to gamma is equal to log c to the base e and uh, cancelling log term from both the sides we remain with p v raised to gamma is equal to constant and this is the law of this is the law of reversible adiabatic process reversible adiabatic process this is hence proved now with this we can see how to find the work done in a reversible adiabatic process and in a reversible adiabatic process uh, we know that a process path is like this between state 1 and state 2 and this is at a higher pressure p1 and this is at a pressure p2 and this is at v1 and this is at v2 pressure and this process path followed by pv raised to gamma equal to constant law and this is a reversible adiabatic process reversible adiabatic now i know that the equation for work done is integration of p into dv and i uh, and we know that the reversible adiabatic uh, law is p v raised to gamma is equal to constant and therefore p is equal to what c by v raised to gamma i can use and put this value of p in the above first equation i get w as integration of c by v raised to gamma into dv and this term is constant so hence i can take this term outside I get integration of this as w so and I can write this as uh, v raised to minus gamma into dv so the integration of this between state 1 to 2 will give you the work done for the reversible adiabatic process and it can be solved as c into the integration of this term is minus gamma plus 1 divided by minus gamma plus 1 between states 1 to 2 and i can change the states so this value changes to gamma minus 1 state between 2 to 1 and i know that uh, c is uh, p into v raised to gamma so replace that by p into v raised to gamma in bracket we have gamma minus gamma plus 1 by gamma minus 1 between states 1 to 2 and solving this equation so if i take this uh, v raised to gamma uh, in uh, inside this bracket so i get v raised to gamma into v raised to minus gamma so into v raised to 1 divided by gamma minus 1 between states 2 to 1 so now simplifying we get p v divided by gamma minus 1 between states 1 to 2 and applying the limits we get p1 v1 minus p2 v2 between state 2 and 1 so divided by gamma minus 1 and this equation we derived as a work done equation for the reversible adi adiabatic process and since we know that pv is equal to mrt for ideal gas so this equation can be replaced as w equal to mr t1 minus mr t2 divided by gamma minus 1 and this can be simplified as mr into t1 minus t2 divided by 
gamma minus 1 this is the equation for work done and uh, applying first law of thermodynamics first law of thermodynamics we know that q equal to w plus uh, delta u and uh, since q equal to 0 in adiabatic process this equation reduces to w equal to minus delta u and this can be equated, uh, equated to u1 minus u2 and this can be i can write it as m into cv so t1 minus t2 and this will give you a work done in terms of change in internal energy thank you